Hey golfers, Craig with Single Length School, and in this video, we're gonna have a little bit of fun. And I'm gonna tell you what it's all about in just a second. So if you're new to the channel, do me a favor, go hit that subscribe button down below, hit the notifications bell right beside it. And go give us a follow on our social media channels. You can find us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, and check out our website, singlelengthschool.com. So, Lee Trevino has famously been quoted as saying, if you're ever stuck out in a storm on the course, hold up a one iron, because not even God can hit a one iron. Today, I'm gonna see if I can hit a one iron. So one of the guys in my golf league has been talking about hitting his one iron off the tee as opposed to driver to help him keep it in the fairways and hit straighter shots. So it got me thinking, can I hit a one iron? So I asked him to borrow it and what I've got is his Bomb Tech Golf. So it's a Bomb Tech 3.0 iron model, one iron. This club has 16 degrees of loft. There is almost nothing to this club. And yes, I know we talk about single length irons and one length irons a lot here, but I thought we'd break up the idea and have a little bit of fun with this and actually see if I can hit this thing. So it has a nice cavity back on it, but when you set it down behind the ball, it looks like there's no loft at all. My driver actually looks more lofted than this club. And this is a standard length iron or a standard length for the one iron. So it is longer, the grip's a little bit smaller, but it's not my club. I just wanna test it and have some fun for you guys. Now, what's my yardage expectation? So I think if I hit this thing well, I'm expecting somewhere in the 260, 265 range with it. My three woods about 275 and that's at 13 and a half degrees. So I'm expecting this maybe around 260, 265. We're gonna go out on the course, we're gonna hit some shots with it and see how it does. See if I can actually hit a one iron. So without further ado, let's hit this first tee shot. Wow, I actually like that shot. All right, so I pulled the shot a little bit, but it was straight. That tee shot was up the hill and I just scoped it out 240 yards up the hill. Um, and it probably plays a good 15, 20 yards uphill. So all in all, not a bad tee shot. And coincidentally, it's starting to storm. So I'll be right back. Hopefully the storm passes quick all because of a one iron. Thanks Lee Trevino and thanks God. I'll be right back with you guys. All right, everyone, storm's over. Uh, I'm still a little bit wet. Came down as I was heading into the clubhouse, but as we saw on the first tee there, the one iron actually turned out pretty well. 240 up the hill. Now we're on the third hole, which is actually a par five. It's probably the longest playing hole here on my home course at Murraysville Golf Club. Um, fairways straight down over the hill. It dog legs left. There's two ponds down lower left and it dog legs back to the left. So this is in every sense a par five. Now for me, because we're so up high, in a normal round I will not take driver off here because I'm usually in the weeds or out behind one of the trees in the distance. I usually take a three wood and try and draw it here around this uh, taller tree and put myself out in the fairway. But because we've got the one iron, we're gonna hit the one iron down there, hopefully down in the fairway, and then we're gonna try it from the deck and see if we can get it to the green down there as well. So let me tee this ball up and see what we do. 
Now, as I hit this, the one thing I do want to tell you guys is that I'm not going after this club. I'm, I'm kind of scared of it. And if you watch the last video before this one, we talked about swinging at 50% swinging easier. That's all I'm trying to do with this club is just make good solid contact in the center of the face. So we're gonna aim it out towards the tree in the distance there and see if we can actually hit a nice one with this one iron. Oh, that's money. Little fade, but great shot. Upper edge of the fairway. Very happy with it. Hit it in the center of the face, it felt solid. Um, because it's downhill, that's probably 280 to carry it there. So 280 downhill with a one iron, I like it. Let's head down and hit one off the deck. All right, so this is from the tee shot, like I said. Pretty good distance on it. I've scoped out the flag. I've got 288. And this is where this club scares me. I'm on an uphill lie, or yeah, the ball's above my feet, so it's going to want to go left, which this fairway does to begin with. But I've got 288. I'm going to try and hit this thing off the deck. It's been comfortable off the tee, but off the deck kind of scares me a little bit. But with the ball into me, I'm going to aim out to the right because it should draw. I got 288 to the flag, which means it's probably about 265 to get down around the green. So wish me luck. Okay. I actually made better contact than I thought I would. It didn't draw, it just stayed straight. Um, got a kick to the left. We'll go down and take a peek and I'll give you a distance on it. All right, so this is where I ended up. It's actually maybe about 10 yards. I mean, if it was on a straight line to the green, it's about 10 yards short. Um, we had 288 to the pin. You've got about 25 yards there. So 260. I'm gonna say that ball was probably 255-ish off the deck in a terrible lie, ball above my feet. So 260-ish off the deck, that's pretty impressive, uh, especially for being very, very scared of this club. Um, I got a nice little kick off some mounds here uh, behind the camera, brought it back down right onto the edge of the fairway. And like I said, a nice little 260. So 280 off the tee, downhill, 260 off the deck. And I'm looking at, you know, a nice little 65 yard pitch to the pin and a putt for a birdie. All right, so we're back on hole number five here at the home club. We've got a shoot and then it kind of opens up, but we're bringing the one iron back out again, off the tee box, off the tee, see what we can do. Normally, this is one of the rare holes I will hit driver out here, that and some of the par fives, but in the case of this test, we're gonna hit that one iron, see if we can find the fairway. Um, it's downhill. I expect uh, maybe 255, 260 with this club off the tee here. So let's see if we can get that. All right, nice little fade right up left edge of the fairway. Let's go get a distance. All right, so this is the tee shot. And actually you're looking back up towards the tee box, which is up in that little gap way up in the trees up there. Um, so I hit it pretty well. Let's see if we can shoot that. 256, uh, counting the slope up the hill, which means down the hill. Um, it's saying 270, so I'm gonna say that ball is probably about 260. Um, 256 up to the back of the hill there, so all in all, not bad. There's a breeze at my back, so coming from the green, which probably pushed it back a little bit, but hey, 260 with one iron and finding the fairway, I'll take it every day. 
So we've got two more holes or two more shots, excuse me, I'm gonna hit with that one iron and then I'm gonna give you my feedback. All right, so this is gonna be our next to last shot with the one iron. I told you I'd bring it back off the deck again. So we are on the sixth tee box here. And this is actually not a real long par four. Um, I typically take three wood or four iron off the tee on this hole anyway. Uh, but for, the, <laughs> for this testing purpose, we're gonna take the one iron, we're gonna take it off the deck and see how far we can hit this thing, see if we can keep it straight. So far we've done a good job of hitting it in that 250, 260 range, keeping it straight, finding the fairways. Um, hole one, I missed the fairway to the left, but aside from that, I've hit the fairways. Um, and the other one I hit off the deck was great as well, just missed a little to the right, but um, so far I'm pretty impressed with it. Does it mean I'm gonna put it in the bag? No, it's actually gotta go back to its rightful owner in my league, but it's a great chance to really test something different and have some fun. So let's see what we can do. All right, so I wanna take it over that little small bush right there in front. That's my line. That should put me right down in the middle of the fairway if I hit it straight. And let's hope we do so. little fade on it but I think I'm safe I cleared the trees I probably just missed the fairway to the right but all in all that was about a 10 yard fade on it I'm happy with it it's out there all right so here's where we ended up um, when I said 10 yard fade yeah I missed the fairway by actually probably six um, if not less so distance wise knowing this hole and knowing that when I hit driver, I'm down a few more yards down towards the end of the tree, which is about the three, 310 range, um, about 50 yards back from that 310 mark. So 260, 260 with the one iron, off the deck again, a little bit of a fade, but again, so far, I'm really, really impressed with it. And we're gonna talk a little bit more after I hit the next one iron shot, we're actually gonna try and drive a short par four with that one iron. And then I'm gonna give you some information about it and tell you why it's probably easier to hit than what we traditionally think. All right, so this is our last hole with the one iron test. This is gonna be my last shot with the one iron. This is a shorter par four, it's the eighth hole uh, from the tee box to the center of the green. It's about 298. Uh, so just under 300 yards. Um, typically, I will take a driver um, if I'm hitting it well that day and try and drive the green. Um, the fairway is only about 15 yards wide, so it's a very, very uh, narrow fairway. Uh, my normal play in regular conditions is just a three wood out there or even a four iron, something inside 100 yards. But because we've got the one iron, I'm gonna give it a rip and I'm gonna see how close we can get to that green. So we're gonna call this 300 yards to the pin or so. And I'm gonna see if I can really lay into this and how far I can get this one iron out there. Not good, I caught it a little toey. A little toey, but it's out there. Let's go see how far. All right, so this is where the one iron ended up. Again, in the fairway, so I really like that, but I did catch it on the toe. I came up about 75 yards short, so we called it 300, 225, and that was my fear with the one iron, is miss hitting it, and how bad is a miss hit? I probably lost a good mm, 40, 50 yards on a miss hit on the toe with the one iron. But all in all, I'm very, very impressed with the one iron. Why? because when I did hit it in the center of the face, I did have the one on number three that was probably 280. Off the deck, 260. Um, you know, it, it, it was very, very impressive. Now, let's talk a little bit about that one iron. That one iron is a brand new, or I shouldn't say brand new, but it's a new model from Bomb Tech Golf. It's a 16 degree iron. Let's compare it to what we used to think of with one irons. We used to think of one irons being really, really small. 
and not only that, low lofted. Now, lofts have gotten stronger over the years. So what their one iron was back when Lee Trevino said, even God can't hit a one iron, you're probably talking about 20, 21 degrees of loft. So I'm hitting something that has even less loft than that. And I want to give my buddy in the league a special thanks for letting me borrow it. Um, I, I don't want to give out his name because guys in the league are going to go ask him to use that club. Uh, but 16 degrees, um, it's a stiff shaft, it's longer. It's definitely longer than my single length irons. So that is a little bit different. But with my simplified single plane swing, taking a nice, easy, smooth approach at it, I was still able to hit it really, really well. So overall, I think Bomb Tech has done a great job. For you guys that struggle hitting driver, no matter what you do, it could be an option, especially if you struggle hitting your woods. I would definitely consider possibly getting that Bomb Tech one iron. Again, I've had some great results with it. I only missed one fairway by five yards. So overall, it was a great experience. It was fun. Um, am I buying myself one? No, I, I'm not. I need my 62 more than I need a one iron. So the one iron, I'm not going to buy it. Um, I'm giving it back to the guy from the league. But all in all, it was a fun experience. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did enjoy it, do me a favor. Smash that thumbs up button. Tell me you like this. Leave a comment down below. And as always, if you're having trouble with driver and woods, maybe you can golf smarter, not harder by picking up one of the one irons. So if you haven't done so yet, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell. Don't forget, go check us out on social media. And until the next video, I'll see you guys in the fairways.